Hey, hi, and hello. I'm Angry Gorilla, and welcome to the Pokey MMO server. This is 100 Laws, a series in which I show where to find lore exclusive Pokemon and how many we can get with 100 Laws. For those that aren't aware or new to the game, Laws are an item that were introduced in 2022. Laws come in two different types standard, which can be bought at Pokemarts across all regions, premium, which can be bought from the gift store for RP. Basically, they act as the opposite of repels, in which they increase encounter rates 10% for standard and 25% for premium. Foes are slightly stronger than normal Pokemon in the area. Encounter more foes at the same time, so we can have double battles and triple battles. Lure exclusive Pokemon are 5% for standard and 10% for a premium as well as some extra features for the premium laws are small hordes of three may increase in size. And if you encounter a shiny Pokemon, the secret shiny rate for that Pokemon is increased by 25%. They also range in strength. Basic laws are 100 steps for a standard, but 200 steps for a premium basic law. Super are 200 steps for a standard or 300 steps for a premium super law. Expert is 250 steps for a standard or 400 steps for a premium expert law. As for the cost, basic are 600 for standard and then you're looking at 100 RP for the premium. Super are 1200 for standard and 150 RP for the premium. And expert are 1500 for standard and 200 RP for the premium version. So pretty much you can find wherever you can get a repel. The strength of repel is what type you'll find lure. As for the premium, like I said, you go to the gift store and you go to the miscellaneous and there we are. We got the premium laws here with all the details that I just mentioned previously. So with that being said, let's move on. Like I said, I'm going to show how and where to get lure exclusive Pokemon and show you the results of how many are achievable using 100 laws. I'll be using 100 standard basic laws so it's easy, even for everyone to use. So let's see how we go. Okay, so today in 100 laws, we're going to do something a little bit different. The reason being, someone commented in one of the previous videos and we want to look into that. So, as you can probably tell we're by the title and my follower sprite next to me, I've got Lapras on the cards. So if we get up the Pokédex here and we go down to Lapras, we can look at its wild locations. So it's got several locations that we can find, as well as a few spots that we can encounter it without a lure. Okay, so we've got the Safari Zone, the Union Cave, like all sorts, okay. But I've only picked four locations and at those four locations, I'm going to use 25 laws to even it out in terms of what I think are quite easy. Although you can do the Pokemon League, you got Victory Road. Okay, so, but they're quite high levels. We want to make it as easy as possible to try and catch these Pokemon as well. So that's basically what I've done. I'll go to these four locations now and show you the results. Okay, so the first location we have here is Route 19, which is just south of Fuchsia City. So it's nice and close to a PC, okay? So it's only a small little ocean patch before we hit the next route in Route 20. So we head down over these ledges. We need a Pokemon that can swim. Makes sense with Lapras being a water ice type. So then once you're here, you're in Route 19, you can pop a lure and you've got everywhere in this ocean patch Okay, but then once you go west too far, you'll hit Route 20. Okay, so the next spot for Lapras that we're going to test is in Route 20. Route 20 you can find here on Cinnabar Island. If you go east of Cinnabar Island, you can get to Route 20. The ocean stretches all the way to just next to Route 19, which we just were. Once again, you'll need a Pokemon that knows surf and swim a couple of tiles over and you're in Route 20. Okay, so similar deal here, you'll experience tentacles and tentacruels. Okay, so the third spot that we're going to test Lapras in is here in the Safari Zone in Johto. So in order to get the Safari Zone access, you need to complete several gyms. I think it's the sixth gym or the seventh gym. 
and then you go up here you talk to this safari zone clerk you'll pay 500 pokey yen and then you'll get your pokey your safari balls you then need to select the there's several areas that you need to select you need the rocky beach area once you go into the safari zone once again you'll need a pokemon that knows surf you'll end up going into this water area here once you're in the water area you can pop a lure and away you go okay so the next spot that we want to test for lapras is just here on route 32 um, just outside Union Cave, but we'll be heading inside Union Cave. So now once we get in there, we have a bit to go. So we want to use a super repel, get those 200 steps in, because we need to make it past the hiker, past the fire dancer. I can't remember what sort of trainer he is. I'm just going to surf on this bit because it doesn't matter because we've used our super repel we can head down into this little stretch of water and then we can head down these stairs we can then go across this water there will be trainers that you can face if you want to and then you can head down here into this water bit now from my understanding you can only really get Lapras in this little bit here, in this little stretch of water here. I might be wrong. It might be all throughout the second basement floor, but I've really had encounters from this little stretch of water here. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just collaborated all four captures into one screen here. So I've got route 19 on the top left, route 20 on the top right, the safari zone on the bottom left, and Union Cave on the bottom right. Now, some things to say with these captures is route 19 and route 20, they are, they're pretty decent for what they are. You're nice and close to a PC. There's no extra cost involved like the Safari Zone. Um, they're a rare encounter for the area as well. So that's a bit extra as well, which I'll show you in the results soon. Safari Zone costs you to get into there as well as the chance of it fleeing. And then the Union Cave, well, that was quite disappointing, which you will see in the results. So these are the four captures. Okay, so these are the results. This is the box that I had all the Lapras in. Just to recap, I split Lapras into four sections, Route 19, Route 20, Safari Zone in Johto, and Union Cave in Johto. We used 25 lures in each area. Now, three of the areas you, you will encounter Lapras without a lure, but I just used a lure to increase our encounters, as I explained earlier. Now we had, what is that, 47 all up. So of those 47, we caught 11 of those at Route 19. We caught eight of those in Union Cave. We caught 12 of those in Route 20. And then we caught a whopping 16 in the Safari Zone. Now, a couple of more things to say in that. We pretty much got away with two to three lures per Lapras in Route 19, Route 20, and Union Cave. But Safari Zone is by far the best out of the four because we got 46 Lapras encounters for the whole time that we were in the Safari Zone, which is unreal. We we're getting almost two Lapras per lure. So, just to throw some other numbers in there, our total encounter rate for the whole time that we were there in the safari was 26%. So we had 46 Lapras encounters for a total 175 Lapras encounters. So hands down, safari zone wins this zoning. So with that all being said, I'm not gonna knock the other three areas. By all means, go to the three areas, Route 19, Route 20, like I said, they're nice and easy next to a PC. And you, in those areas, you definitely have lures available for you. You've got a Pokemart right there as well. 
same as you do here in Safari Zone, but it's a bit deeper into the game. So that is 100 Laws done for today. Hopefully it was straightforward so you can find your own Lapras. With that being said, be sure to comment your thoughts down below or even hit me up on which Pokemon you'd like to see featured on 100 Laws, aka like today. So also to keep up with that, what has been done, there is a playlist in the description covering all the other Pokemon that we've found on 100 Laws. And be sure to subscribe. It keeps you up to date with everything going on, other Pokemon, Poke MMO content. And I try to post every Wednesday. It's not always the case. So like the video if you like it. And that's it for now. So look after yourself. Keep cool. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.